Good morning, students. I am your subject teacher of language. As you all know, that it is the toughest time which we are going through, and since the school did not reopen, I will put my level best to guide you through the stepping stones of standard six through these learning videos. Today, we are going to learn. about the base of grammar that is the sentence which is given in page number 9 of your english language book so let's get started the sentence what exactly is a sentence a sentence is a group of words and it has three important characteristics once again i repeat what is a sentence a sentence is a group of words and it has three important characteristics firstly expresses a complete thought or an idea for example this is a group of words grass green is the but is it conveying any meaning no so it is not a sentence now rearrange the same words we get a sentence the grass is green so yes here we see that it conveys meaning so it is a sentence here we get to know that the color of grass is green so this line we call as sentence second very important characteristic of sentence is that it must have a subject and a verb combination sometimes a subject is not given but understandable for example put the knife there here the verb put is given but subject was not given so here the subject which is not given but you is implied over here the third and the most important characteristics is the meaning the meaning of any sentence may be differently based on different expressions may be of a statement question command or any exclamation based on different meanings thought sentences can be divided into four groups here are the four types of sentences how many types of sentences are there they are four types so types of sentences first is declarative sentence declarative remember children the spelling should be correctly written d e c l a r a t i v e declarative sentence the second sentence is interrogative i n t e r r o g a t i v e interrogative sentence 
The third type of sentence is imperative sentence. I M P E R A T I V E. Imperative sentence. And the fourth one is exclamatory. E X C L A M A T O R Y. Exclamatory sentence. So, how many types of sentences are there? Four types of sentences are there. First is declarative, second is interrogative, third is imperative, and fourth and the last is exclamatory sentence. Now, let's understand each of them. First is declarative sentences. What are declarative sentences? Declarative sentences are those sentences which tell information about anything and they end with a full stop. For example, let us see some of the examples here. A dog is man's best friend. Here they are stating a fact that a dog is a man's friend that is best friend in the second example it is written this mango is very tasty here we are telling an information about the taste of mango she is a beautiful girl in this sentence we are defining the beauty of a girl these type of sentences states fact. Let us look into the second type that is interrogative sentences. What are interrogative sentences? Interrogative sentences are those sentences which are used to ask questions. And it, they end with a question mark. Here are some question tags with which we start our question. Who, what, when, where, why, whose, how. For example, who are you? Why are you here? How is your brother? When did you come back? Did you notice one thing? Behind each and every question, there is a question mark. Which shows that whenever we ask a question, we use interrogative sentences. Let's look into next type of sentence which is called imperative statement or imperative sentence. What is an imperative statement? Imperative statement or sentence is that statement which gives command or ask of request which can end with full stop or exclamation mark. Depending on how forcefully we say the sentence. For example, if we say, please shut the window, wait for me, give me a glass of milk. Whenever you are giving any command or asking for any help or request the imperative sentences or the imperative statement is used. Let's look at the next and the last type of sentence which is exclamatory sentence. These are used to express strong feelings or emotions. They end up with an exclamation mark. 
when you are surprised, shocked, sad or happy. We use exclamation to express our emotions. By the help of these pictures, we can just guess that this boy is shocked. Like, oh no! Here we can say, oh! And this expression which we see over here is quite, he is quite happy. And we can say, hooray, I got an ice cream. For example, also you can see, what a beautiful day! Exclamation mark. Remember, it will end with an exclamation mark. Okay, here next we see, wow! Again, a sudden expression and an exclamation mark. We won the match. Next is, he is such a nice boy. So here we see that we are expressing our emotions after having a very good day or after meeting a, such a nice boy or after winning the match. So these type of examples are for the exclamatory sentence. Because here we are expressing our sorrow, our regret for that person's death or we are expressing that we are very happy by saying hooray. So exclamatory sentences are used for strong emotions that is strong feelings or emotions. So that is all about sentences. Students, you have to revise and copy down in your language notebook. So here is the work assigned to you. In question number one, what is a sentence? So you can also draw the diagram. I have completed the diagram now. So the group of words here you will write. And then number one you will write complete thought. The first characteristic of group of words will be complete thought. Then the second will be subject and a verb combination. And the third will be meaning. That is statement, question, command and exclamation. So in short we can say what is a sentence? A group of words which make a complete sense is called a sentence. Remember children, that sentence should have a complete sense. Otherwise, it is not called a sentence. It should have complete sense. Number two, question number two. How many kinds of sentences are there? There are four kinds of sentences. Four kind. The first one is declarative or assertive sentence. Children remember declarative sentence is also known as assertive sentence. The spelling of assertive is A double S E R T I V E. What is declarative or assertive sentence? Which makes a statement. And in number two, the interrogative sentence which means that wherever we ask any question, that statement or that sentence is known as interrogative sentence. In number three, imperative sentence. This sentence expresses a command or a request. In number 4, we see exclamatory sentence. What is an exclamatory sentence? An exclamatory sentence is the sentence which expresses a strong feeling or emotion. So, children, till here we have come to the sum up or you can say a short note which I have given based on the chapter sentence. 
copy down and solve them. Exercise 1. As children, you know that in your book, the questions or the exercises related to sentence is not given or not provided. I have given you here some of the sentences which you need to solve. Write whether the following sentences are statements, questions or exclamatory sentences. So the first question is, I waited for you at the bus stop. Full stop. So the answer you have to write. Question 2. Why did you get late? Question mark. Number 3. Poppies are my favorite flowers. Number 4. How noisy the place was. Exclamation mark. Number 5. Will you finish your homework on time? Question mark. Number 6. Hush. The baby is sleeping. Number 7. I don't like the people who tell lies. So, here are some of the sentences children given to you to solve. In the next class, we are surely going to discuss on the answers which are related to these questions. Thank you.